Hello, everybody. My name is Coach B. I'm joining everybody today uh, on behalf of Team Believers Marketing Group and GiveBucks.com. Just want to make sure that everybody understands that what we're talking about is a free download. It's a free super app that's available in the Apple and Google Play Store, has been for the last five years. And I just want to start off today's meeting with uh, how we closed off yesterday. We had a few questions about being able to use the app internationally. Well, I talked to the founder, Mr. Ken Jones last night, and he said that Uber is one of the international brands that we should be able to use anywhere. Um, he's been in the Ukraine, he travels all throughout Asia, and he says he has used his Give Bucks app uh, in his international travels with Uber, okay? And so that's a very big deal because Uber not only has the ride share, but they also have Uber Eats. So that means if you upload Good Bucks to your app, whether it be through the Give Bucks token or the Give Bucks uh, USD variant, you would be able to actually use it while you're traveling with Uber. Now he's going to check on some of the other international brands that was mentioned yesterday, um, but we already know that we're gonna to have to establish a banking relationship with some of those major brands. If there are a mom and pop store that's coming on, um, like the young man that was in India, he has his own store, we would be able to facilitate bringing him on board um, at, on our team and be the bank for him. But large merchants such as Burger King and Papa John's and Outback, those are merchants that would have to have a banking relationship in that country because Coach A and I cannot be the bank for Burger King, cannot be the bank for Subway, all right? So that's just to kind of give you guys an update of what we closed out talking about yesterday. And so it's a, it's a great uh, major announcement that we can use Uber, which is literally almost in every country now, um, with the Give Buck Super app, okay? So for those people that are coming in internationally, that gives you another carrot, another caveat that you would be able to download the app and primarily start to market it to people in North America because we're right now operating in Canada, United States, Mexico, and Belize. But when we launch the marketing company, GBX International, we're going to be bringing on associates that can now go out into their neighborhoods, into their communities, and begin signing up their local brands that might not be some of these international behemoths, okay? Now, today I'm gonna cover, try to open up the app and show people different things. Today I'm gonna cover the black card. Last week we covered the gas card, but now I wanna make sure people understand how to access the black card and the merchants that are associated with that. So I'm gonna make my phone the host. Let me share the screen from my phone so that we can jump into the app and take a look at how to access the black card. Okay, let's see if that pops up. There we go. All right, now when you log into your app, you have the four pillars. These four pillars have been stapled there because these are the initial things that you can do to begin earning with this free super app. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on give, okay? And when you give, you're gonna be giving 1% or more to a charity of your choice, to a church of your choice, to a nonprofit of your choice. It looks like my background is wigging out there we go but from there you get an opportunity to begin earning once you give this app our slogan is it pays to give and that's how simple and sweet it is because once you give now you can start getting paid from all of your activity in the app and so when you click on pay that means you might be going to domino's pizza papa john's uh petco to um, Home Depot. And what you do is you click on pay. I'm gonna use my fingerprint. And when you click on pay, you can go search the store you wanna go to, 
or you can click on one of the top 100. And I'm going to click on Buffalo Wild Wings because they're giving out free wings right now, six free wings. So why not get your free wings and get instant cash back because you're using the Give But Super app? So you see right here, it says that I have zero dollars. And if I wanted to spend $25, let's just uh, go with $25.47. And it shows right under the amount that my minimum that I can spend with the Give Buck Super app is $5. And the maximum I can spend per transaction is $250. And then underneath that, you also see if you're at a restaurant or something and you want to leave a tip, you can actually leave a tip. You can put your gratuity in and the waiter, waiter or waitress would actually get tipped from this transaction, all right? If you're online and you wanted to be able to use it, you would just, babe, when you're going to the payment section, instead of paying with your credit card or debit card, you would click on gift card. And when you click on gift card, it would then process you, let me jump into the history. It would process you a barcode, okay? That barcode underneath has numbers that would be associated with an online purchase. So even if I went to Burger King and they weren't able to scan, they would be able to click on gift card and enter in the gift card number, which is underneath the barcode, to be able to facilitate my purchase, all right? And so you see here, here's another one. I went and tested out five guys, same thing. $43.88, underneath the barcode has the barcode number and also the pin. Some locations require you to enter in a pin as well. And so depending on the location, you're gonna have all of that information underneath the barcode. Now, let's see if Uber's on here. No, it's on my other phone. But even with Uber, if you're uploading your Uber account, you would basically purchase your Uber card here, right? Your e-gift card here. Then you would log into your Uber app. You would update, you would add, uh, they, I think they call them Uber Bucks. You would add Uber Bucks and you would be using this card number underneath. Let me see if I can bring my other phone online. I'll try to do that before we close out so I can show you the Uber process. But that's basically how you pay. Even and if, if you uh, could show B, I had a gentleman ask yesterday. Now he he's taking a south southwest flight soon, and he was asking. And I thought that it was probably the same way that it is at any other place. You could just is. get the um your gift card number correct. and then put that into the website of Southwest. Is that correct? That is correct. So you see okay. at the top, I put in the word South. Then I clicked on search. Then I click on Southwest Airlines. If my ticket is $296.88, I'm going to click on pay. And when I click on pay, it's going to generate the e-gift card. And so when you're paying on the Southwest Airlines site, you would click on gift card and enter in the numbers that are underneath the barcode. Got it, thanks. Simple and sweet. All right. But today I want to make sure that people know how to use and where to locate the black card. Now, the black card is for people that might not be as adept to their telephone. Let's say you have... I know a gentleman that we introduced the black card to last month, he was sight impaired. So it was a little bit more difficult for him to be able to use the app. And so being able to swipe a card was easier. So we showed him how to be able to access the card. You might have your mother who's a little older. She doesn't use apps, but you want to be able to earn instant cash back by buying the card for her. And then when she goes shopping, she just swipes the card until her balance is eliminated. All right. These are prepaid cards, and once the $500, $1,000, or $2,000 you put on the card, once it's all spent, then you would have to order another card. You, they are not reloadable cards, okay? And so what you do to access the card, you click on the three lines at the top right to open up the full ledger. You click on history toward the bottom, 
And then right next to purchases at the top center, you see where it says black card. So you see where it says black card, then it says you still don't have any transaction logs for this history. You click on that and it opens up the black card, okay? Now this black card can be used just like Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Samsung Pay. You see that right here at the far left. You can also use it online and you also have the plastic card that will be mailed to you once you create an account and order the card. So I'm gonna show you this. When you click on plastic, it's gonna show you all of the different locations that the plastic card is accepted, okay? Adidas, Airy, Aeropostale, American Eagle. I'm not gonna read the whole list, but as you see, all of these places you can walk in with the black card, CVS Pharmacy, and just swipe just like your regular debit card or credit card, okay? PF Chains, all right? So these are the retailers, Saks Fifth Avenue, Saks Off Fifth Avenue, Sally Beauty, TJ Maxx, okay? So one thing about the black card is there are some merchants that are on the black card that are not available with the GiveBucks um, pay system. That's just because they prefer to accept the card rather than the pay system. And there are some people that are on the pay system that you can't use the card. So here, let me show you online. And so before you go out shopping with the card, make sure that you look and see that the merchant that you want to shop with is available to use the black card. So these are all of the online locations where you can use the card, okay? Now, if you wanted to use the card just like Apple Pay or Google Pay, you click on that. And it's going to show you all of the merchants where you would be able to just go basically and use your cell phone, just like Apple Pay or Google Pay, to pay at these merchants. Now, you see here, it's a shorter list, okay? So just make sure that you're looking at the list prior to you attempting to use the black card because there is a differentiated list from the list that you're going to see in Give Bucks Pay, okay? And so then... You basically put in how much you want to put on the card. I want to put 5,000 on the card. I'm going to click on the terms and conditions. And then when I click purchase, it's going to be, help me create an account, okay? Because you have to create an account with this black card so that they can take your address, telephone number, and all of that information to be able to send you the card. It takes seven to 14 business days to receive the card. Seven to 14 business days to receive the card, just like the gas card, okay? The reason why you see my name and email address already populated is because that, it all, this app already knows that this is the account holder. It knows that Brian Early is the account holder and this telephone number is registered with this email address, okay? And so basically, that's the simplicity of ordering the black card and being able to use it at specific merchants. And want to continue to go over the four core buttons because some people are kind of woozy about where to find their invitation link. And so when you create your profile, you are creating a vanity name. The vanity name is same as your invitation link, your username, but in this app, it's called a vanity code, okay? And so to be able to see that, you want to click on smart link. And so that means when somebody is downloading the app, they can download the app, but they cannot complete the process because this is by invitation only. All right. Everyone is connected because every single person that you help download this free super app is potentially worth hundreds of thousands or if not millions of dollars based on their network. Okay. The amount of people that join their network basically entails you to be able to earn over and over and over again. And so it shows you, you can share by phone, you can share by email, you can share from your contacts list. And once you do share, you basically can click on and see who you shared it with. People that have completed the process, they're going to have a purple G. People that have not completed the process, they'll have a gray G. 
and to see everybody that has completed the process, which are your D1s, your direct level ones, you just click on D1 and you see right here that this telephone, this email address has 22 downloads associated with it, okay? These are all the people that have completed the process and now every time they shop using the Give Buck Super app and their friends shop and their friends shop, I earn instant cash back. The other important thing is the talk. So when you click on talk, you're able to begin earning activity points. So you see here, I have Coach A at the top, talked to Vince yesterday. Vince is somebody that's been here with us for five years. Um, a lot of people, I just send messages to make sure that they know the Give Bucks app is up and rolling faster than ever right now. So you see on the 4th, I sent out a whole bunch of messages, right? Here's some people that I communicate with on the regular. Here's my dad in the app. So folks, people that you love and care about, make sure that they have this free super app because when they have the app and you're communicating with them, you're going to be able to earn when you talk and video chat. On the next update that comes out, you're going to be able to earn on your texting too. Right now, we're not earning on our texting. But on the next update that comes out, we're going to be able to earn activity points on our texting as well. And to be able to see those activity points, you click on the top three lines again. You click on activity points and you see over a short time, I think I just started using this phone maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago. Um, my other phone has almost 20,000 activity points and I wanted this phone to kind of catch up. And so right now I'm approaching 5,000 activity points, all right? And so we have some people in the waiting room. So let me stop this and let a couple people in. Give me one second. All right, let those people in and go back to sharing the screen. Okay, go back to the app. Now you're getting activity points when you invite someone to the app, you're getting five points. When you receive a video call, that's 20 points. All right, you see the 20 points adding up over and over and over. When you send money, you're getting 10 points because just like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, we can send give bucks person to person, peer to peer, okay? And so, Everything that you're doing on the app, even when you put in a feedback, if you find a glitch or if you have an idea and you put in a feedback, you're going to get activity points, okay? So the more activity you do on the app, when you shop, you're going to get activity points. Let me see if I have shop here. It's been a while since I added on this one in shop, but I think I bought um, the hotels.com on this phone. Like I said, before I close out, I'm going to try to open up the other phone that has tons of points, tons of downloads, and all of the above. And so that's the basics of what I wanted to cover today. Um, and while we're doing a and a I'll answer any questions. Any questions before I shift it over to Coach A? She always has a great perspective to add. Any questions? You can raise your hand or just simply unmute. Hey, Coach B. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, um, now I'm um, going back to the very beginning. When somebody gets started with the Give Bucks app, um, in order in order for them to start earning from the beginning, you said they would have to go to charity. Yep. No, give, give, right? When you click uh -huh. on give, uh huh, you have to set your percentage of how much you want to give. Like on okay. this app, it shows you I'm giving thirty three percent, right? And that 33% uh -huh. is going to Fans of America Veterans Foundation. Okay. But you can donate to two at, uh, two charities at a time right now. And so like okay. I was looking on my other phone, I'm splitting that 33% from um, Fans of America and the Jamie Marseilles Foundation. And so I'm going to do the same thing on this phone. So I'm going to select the charity. And you see, as soon as I clicked on select charity, it went to 16.5% right next to the charity name. And so that means I'm no longer giving 33% to Fans of America Foundation. Now it's being split between the two. And when I go back to the top, it shows the two charities that I'm donating to. Okay. And once you do that, once you choose one or two charities, 
you are now unlocked your ability to earn instant cash back rewards seven generations deep. Not only from your shopping, but the shopping of tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands, even millions of people over time. Okay. Great question, Darius. Yeah, thanks, Everybody man. I needed to know that because you <laughs> can't make money without doing that first. Any other questions while I try to bring in this other uh, phone? Coach A, all yours. I just wanted to go back over the question that uh, the Southwest thing that we had talked about earlier because Jay just jumped on. Jay, are you still with us? I can't see him, but is he still with us? Yes. Okay, there you are. So, yeah, when you go to pay and you're going to put in Southwest Airlines, it's going to pop right up back there. And then you're going to, now you've already gone through your Southwest website and you've picked your flight and you've done all of that, got your total. And now GiveBucks is going to ask you, what is your total for this trip? So you're going to put in your total. And then when once and you then, put in that total, you're going to get a barcode. And when you go to pay for your ticket, instead of clicking on debit card or credit card, you're going to click on gift card. When you click on gift card, there's numbers underneath the barcode. Once you enter in those numbers and accept it, it will basically process your payment right then and there. And that's how you pay online, not just Southwest Airlines, anywhere online that you're trying to use the Give Bucks Pay system. And you have literally just made cash back for the trip that you were already going to take. Now you've got money towards another purchase, whatever you want to buy somewhere else. Let me give you guys a great example. There was a couple, this was about three years ago. They were remodeling their kitchen. They spent $15,000 remodeling their kitchen at Lowe's, using Lowe's, right? Now you see here, well, let me go back to the pay. I want to show you guys something. All right, so I'm going to put on Lowe's. Search, Lowe's. Now you see, underneath the dollar signs, it says the minimum you can spend at Lowe's is $5. The maximum at per transaction you can spend is 1000 So when they did it, the maximum you could spend was 500 right? So that means they spent $15,000, but they did 500 500 500 They kept doing the 500 over and over and over again to be able to pay. So that means they had to do that 20 times, right? Here, they, you only have to do it 15 times because you're spending $1,000 15 times. But each and every instant gift card that you create, you're going to get cash back rewards. So that couple spent $15,000 at Lowe's and they got over $2,300 back because they used the Give Buck Super app doing so. Not only them, so but the yeah, six so did everybody above them that yep. also got their instant cash back because they spent fifteen thousand at Lowe's. So, folks, that you don't know who's going to spend what in your network. All you know is that you're getting downloads, but you don't know everybody in those downloads. You don't know what their motivation is. You don't know what you know what they're about to do, and so. Once again, they spent $15,000. They got $2,000 cash back. But people under them in their back office, they might have been getting $200, $300 of Give Bucks that they could go spend now because somebody decided to use the Give Bucks app to remodel their kitchen. Okay? So that's the power of what we're sharing with everybody. You don't know where it's going to come from. All you want to do is make sure that you're sharing the app and getting those downloads. Because when you click on rewards, you get your personal rewards, but you also get the rewards of all of those people that are downloading the app, 
then you're also getting the seven generations deep. Okay? And so I'm going to have to download Zoom on my other phone. I'm going to have to delete some apps. That other phone is a real old phone. I'm almost out of memory, so I have to take the Zoom app off of that phone. I'm going to have to re download the Zoom app so that you guys can be able to see. On my first level, you see where this has 22? I have 160 downloads, right? Direct to me. Underneath that, there's like another couple of hundred. Then underneath that, there's a couple of hundred. So on my other phone, I have approaching 600 downloads in my community. And right here where you see it says zeros, on my other phone, I have money here because those 600 downloads are using the app. These people are newer to the app. They haven't uploaded their money, started using it yet. But when they do, they're already connected to me. All right. So sometimes you're just planting a seed. And as this app continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, more people begin to use it. And now you're earning from all of those downloads. Thank you, Coach, for that. Any other questions? You can unmute and get your questions answered. Questions going once. Yeah. I, yes, this is Ginger. Yes, ma'am, uh, Ginger. I have two questions. One, can you use the gas card at any of the gas stations? Yes, you can use it at 98% of the gas stations nationwide. That's all of the major brands. Um, but you might not be able to use it at those smaller locations. Like you have a gas station in your town and that's the only place it is in your town. Yeah. That's not a national I don't have thing. any of those. Yeah. And so, yeah, you can use it at Exxon, Shell, BP, you know, Quick Trip. How all about at Sam's? Locations. Can you, uh, you can use it at Sam's too, right? Now, I mean, I'm it's not, a gas card. You, you may be able to, but you remember, you can't use it at the pump. You have to use it in the point of sale. You have to go inside the store. Now, because Sam's is under the Walmart umbrella, I'm not sure because we don't have uh, Walmart in our chains yet. Okay. okay. I can um, check that out. Yeah. So you um, might want to check um, prior to, but Ginger, okay. do, do us a favor. See if you can use it at Sam's. I will. Because if, if you <laughs> can, let us know. And that will be some validation for us all. Okay. Um, the other question is, what is the percentage of the cash back that we get? You're, um, that's a great question. So is it a flat? No, that's a great question. I'm going to show you how to be able to find it. I didn't know how to found, find it until we started this. So let me share the screen. Show you guys where to find it. And this is on average. So this isn't for every single merchant because every single merchant has a different percentage that they're giving. But when you look at this slide and you see that on average, somebody's oh. spending $100. You see on the mm -hmm. first level, you spent $2 and you got $2 back. Can you make it any bigger? Let me see. Yes, ma'am. No, that's a, This slide is also on the kit. Yep. In the cash app. Yes, it's on um, I mean, in our <laughs> Telegram app, on our Telegram. Um, oh, okay. Yep. And so you see here that they got on average, right? It shows you the percentage. They spent $2. They got two dollars back, so that's ten percent. They spent but they spent a hundred dollars. Remember, they spent they spent a hundred dollars. Yeah, right. and they got two dollars back. So that's two percent on the first level, a percent and a half on the second level, percent and a half on the third level, one percent on the third. On, excuse me, on the third level, and notice this: you're getting more on the third level, but you have more people, right? And so even here, D3, you have more people. And so on the third level, you get back more simply because they wanted to find a sweet spot where you're not getting the most on the least people, but they couldn't pay out the most on the most people at the bottom either. And so they found a spot right near the middle where you're getting the most percentage back right here in the middle. And so underneath that, you're getting a quarter percent, quarter percent, quarter percent, quarter percent. And so that's a good way to be able to determine how much you're getting per level, okay? Okay, okay, thanks. No, great question. A lot of people are gonna ask that question 
and now they have it on the video. Thank you for that, yes, Jen. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Hey, Coach LB. This is Darius again. Yes, sir. Um, I have a question. Um, how maybe uh how how do you become a if somebody want to become a merchant? Um, how would they go about doing that? Okay, they would have to contact right now myself or Coach A, um, because in order to put a merchant into the app, you have to be a GBX associate. Uh, okay. We did a soft launch for GBX already. And so some people are already in that chain. And then they're going to be doing a hard launch over the next 30 to 60 days. Because what GBX is, it's the marketing company where people pay $247 or $497 one time and then $50 a month to be able to go out and sign up charities, merchants, and other associates that want to make cash money going into their bank account. Now, the cash money comes from people signing up for $247, $497, and the $50 a month, the $49.97 a month that's being paid. Also, if you're at the $497 level, now you can actually offer people that are online merchants an opportunity to be able to accept cryptocurrency, all right? If they want to be, be able to accept over a thousand different ERC-20 based tokens at their online location, they would pay $2,500 to get it set up and then $250 a month. By you being a GBX merchant, you would get a 20% commission. So when they sign up for 2,500, you're getting a $500 commission. And then every single month that they pay 250, you're getting $50 a month per merchant that you signed up to be able to accept cryptocurrency online. Also, if you're a GBX associate, you go into a merchant and they're paying merchant processing fees. Well, the app doesn't take merchant processing fees. So for people that are paying with the app, the merchant isn't paying any fees. For people that pay cash, the merchant isn't paying any fees. But if they accept Visa, MasterCard or American Express, Nine times out of 10, they're paying a 3% or more processing fee on every single transaction. By being a GBX associate, you can offer a way for them to eliminate that processing fee and transfer it to the customer. So that means the customer would be paying that 3%, not the merchant. And the customer would also be able to download the app from that merchant, right? If they didn't want to pay the processing fee, they could pay in cash or give bucks, not pay the processing fee. But now the merchant would be able to earn off that customer when they go to Southwest Airlines, Home Depot, take an Uber, go to Burger King. That's a merchant's dream to be able to make money off of your customers when they're not at your location. So that's the huge door that the marketing company is going to be opening up for people that really want to take their give bucks uh, membership to a whole nother level. Okay, thanks, Coach B. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. Great question. We have about a minute and a half left. Any other questions, folks? Real quick, because I came in towards the end of last. If my wife is part of buys a lot from Amazon, how she just does put money on her gift box and then do it through Amazon? Correct. Um, when she goes to pay, she would click on gift card and then it would process the amount with they're gonna tell her how much to pay. She puts that in her um gift bucks app. Then she processes the gift card. She's getting instant cash back right then and there. Thank you. Great question, JT. Yep, that's it. Great questions today, y'all. I love it because you're not asking the question for yourself. There's people that are watching these videos that don't make it to the webinar. You're answering their questions too. This is what this is all about. All right, less than 60 seconds. Coach A, anything you'd like to add? That's it. I would just like to thank everybody for coming. It's always glad, uh, always good to see new faces, more people that we can help. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And we are here every single time, uh, excuse me, every single day at the same time. So make sure you save this link, jump on every single day at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and get all of your questions answered. And I'd like to close out. Remember that GiveBucks is a publicly traded company. The ticker is GBUX. And if you have not ever had equity in a company, here's your opportunity. It's taking accredited investors and unaccredited. So contact myself or Coach A to learn more about the stock. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow.